let us understand normalization in database in this video so what is normalization basically a normalization is used to organize the data okay so the table which we are getting or the table which we are creating will not be normalized basically and it, it don't have a proper structure so we have to organize the data and normalization is a systematic approach okay that is we have to do step by step where will be in every step we can we may get the table which is decomposed that is the original table we have to decompose it why we have to decompose because we have to eliminate the data redundancy and we have to make sure that it is not having any anomalies like insertion updation and deletion okay so a normalization is a multi step process where we will be decomposing the tables and uh, in order to remove the duplicate data and uh, we have to establish the proper relationship between the tables so normalization in general is used for two main purpose one is to eliminate the redundant data and to ensure that the data dependency is perfect <clears throat> okay so we have uh, basically three normal forms that is we have to ensure that our table uh, are normalized with these three normal forms apart from this we have boycott normal form and fourth and fifth normal form but we will not ensure may not very stress on that okay so only these three normal forms are very very important so first normal form second normal form and third normal form let us see one by one so what is the first normal form the very first thing is single valued attributes that is your table should contain only atomic values in every cell okay and there should not be any repeating groups so in order to avoid the repeating groups what we will do we will be fixing up some unit name that is we will be fixing the primary key for that okay while doing this that is while making that multi valued attribute to the single valued attribute or while making some unique names what we should ensure that we should not change any domain or attribute that is attribute domain or any data inside it okay let us see that with an example so here you can see that this is a table product okay and thanks for one key data for providing such a good example so this is the table product okay this is product table where i have three different column that is an attribute that is product id color and price so here you can see that this is a cell okay this is a single cell where i have two data two values entered with a comma so this we call it as this is atomic because there is only one value but here you have two values right so this violates the first normal form and this table is not structured okay so this is there comes the repeating group here okay here we can see that this is not normalized so what we can do is we can make it as a normalized by applying the first normal form so here this is your existing table which should be converted into this two table so here what happened one main one table is decomposed into two tables okay so what happens here so here you can see that i have established the key here okay so this is the product id and the price i have given and the color because since color is varying right so one product can can be in multiple colors so if you take a product for example if you take a pen a pen may have multiple colors right so one product can have multiple colors here so here product id is the foreign key and uh, the color i have given here the color so this one table is decomposed into two tables now you can see that there is no repeating groups here that is there is no multi valued attribute that is every cells are atomic and also the repeating groups are properly arranged with the primary key got it so this is your very first normal form so a table is in one enough if there is only single valid attributes and attribute domains does not change here we haven't changed any attribute domain 
and then there is a unique name for every attribute column so here we have a unique name for every attribute in a column and the order in which the data is stored does not matter you don't want to worry about the order of data because the data you are going to retrieve based on the query so why should I do 1NF and what will happen after doing 1NF? That is, after you do the first normal form, this is used to eliminate the redundancy. Okay? So, that is, repeating groups will be will be eliminated. But it will not, that is, it will not eliminate the repeating group. It will redu uh, eliminate the duplicates. Okay? It is, it is only eliminating the duplicate but not repeat not eliminating the repeating groups. So, for that, what we have to do is we have to go for the normals. That is, second normal form okay so if you want to make your table into a second normal form you should ensure that your table is already in a first normal form so what is the first normal form it should be atomic every cell should be atomic and there should not be any redundancy in that okay and there should not be a there should be no partial dependency according to the second normal form partial dependency so what is the meaning of dependency that is the non prime attribute or depend on the prime attribute non prime attribute means so here in this table you can see that product id is the prime attribute that is a primary key okay and these are all non prime attributes it's not primary key so here you can see that prices depend on the product id yes okay so this means this is fully dependent then what do you mean by partial dependent so here you can see that it has the composite key okay the customer id is also a key store id is also a key together we call it as a composite key okay that is a customer id and store id we have a composite key and here you can see that purchase location which is a non prime attribute okay that is a non key attribute so this is a non key attribute here purchase location depends only on the store am i right so if you get the store id you can see what is the location of that store but here what happens only the store id which is only a part of the primary key okay this is also a primary key actually this is this both together is a composite key okay purchase location is a depend on store id that is a part of the primary key but not depend on the customer id okay so this we call it as what partial dependency so this two are a composite key this purchase location should depend on both which means that that is a full dependent okay it is completely dependent but here purchase location is only depend on the store id but not depend on the customer id so here it is a partial dependency is happening here so what should i do i have to again decompose the table so here this is your existing table if you decompose this table you will get two tables one is a table purchase where i will have customer id and store id alone in one table and another table where i have store id and the purchase location so here you can find that there is no partial dependency yes so in second normal form we are eliminating the redundancy but there exists that we have a transitive dependency will be there okay so for this we are going towards the third normal form so what is the first normal form it should be atomic and you should uh, fix up the key value in the second normal form it should be in the first normal form and there should not be any partial dependency now in the third normal form it should be in second normal form first you have to make sure this and then there should not be any transitive dependency so i hope you might have heard about the transitive dependency rule that is a transitive rule okay which means that a is equal to b b is equal to c means a is equal to c this is what the transitive depend transitive rule we call it as okay so this should not be like this that is there is should not be any transitive dependency okay let us see here in this table book id determines the journal id okay and the journal id determines the journal type 
book ID determines the journal ID. Journal ID determines the journal type which means that according to the transitive rule book ID determines the journal type. Yes. So this is what the transitive dependency. So what we have to do is in order to avoid this transitive dependency again you have to decompose this so this is your existing table where we have converted this table without any transitive dependency so what happens book id journal id and price comes in single table journal id and journal type comes in a single table so here the transitive dependency also eliminated so these are all the three different normal forms which is very very important you should make sure that this your table is properly normalized In the next video we will discuss about how to establish the relationship between the table which will become a complete relational database thank you for watching stay safe bye bye